Of course, fasting in Ramadan is an important and significant tradition for Muslims all over the world. And China's western region of Xinjiang is home to the Uyghur ethnic minority, most of whom are Muslim. The Chinese authorities there have now banned Muslim employees from fasting during Ramadan. The move comes amid a security crackdown in the region, which has been hit by a growing number of violent attacks. For more on this story, we can speak to Alim Saitov of the World Uyghur Conference. Uh, Mr. Saitov, thanks very much for joining us. Why has China taken this move? Uh, it's not surprising. Ba basically, the Chinese government is an undemocratic authoritarian and also an atheist state. Uh, it wants to secularize the Uyghur people and wants to essentially assimilate the Uyghur people into the Chinese secular culture. Yeah. So that's why the Chinese government has banned a fasting in the holy month of Ramadan, which is a duty of all Muslims, including the Uyghur people. So today, uh, Uyghurs who work for Chinese government uh, control the operated or owned entities, whether they are schools, hospitals, or government, so they simply cannot fast. If they fast, uh, they will be fined, uh, severely penalized, and uh, in worst case scenario, they will be even arrested. And plus, uh, Chinese government has just launched uh, a one-year strike hard campaign specifically targeting Uyghur people's religious beliefs and practices. So the situation on the ground is very bad now in this holy month of Ramadan for the peaceful Uyghur people. In the past, Mr. Saitov, it's been quite indirect, the pressure uh, on the Uyghur community in terms of fasting. But, but this is quite drastic now, isn't it? It's, it's very direct. Yes. yes, because the Chinese government sees the religious belief of the Uyghur people, Islam, as a threat to its continue to hold on to the territory of East Turkestan, which is historically uh, non-Chinese territory, just like Tibet. And the China sees uh, the Uyghur people's strong belief in religion uh, is a big problem uh, to keep the Uyghur people's separate, unique identity, culture, and a language. That is a big obstacle in China's attempt to forcibly assimilate the Uyghur people. So from the Chinese government's mindset, it is when the Uyghur people lose their religion in Islam, and when they become secular, secularized, and when they lose their language, their culture, and their religious traditions, then they will become like Chinese. Then there will no longer any problem in East Turkestan, just like in Tibet. How are the Uyghur people reacting to this? Uyghur people are uh, pushed in a hard place and between a rock and a hard place. Because Uyghurs are Muslims, as Muslims, just like any people of faith, believe in any other religion, whether it's Christianity or Buddhism, it's your religious duty to follow your faith and to practice it. And uh, Ramadan is one of the uh, most important pillars of Islam for Uyghurs to observe Ramadan and to pray and to fast. But this atheistic, undem undemocratic government is forcing the Uyghur people to give up their faith uh, to their belief in Islam and as well as their practices. If they practice, uh, they are punished. So, but at the same time, they want to be just a normal citizens, just to mind their own business. But because of the Chinese policies, uh, especially repressive policies, they can no longer be a normal Uyghur, normal Muslim in China. So the reaction is very bad, very tough, very hard. They want to pray, they want to fast, but they cannot. If they are found praying, uh, the government will punish them and in certain many cases arrest them. And uh, so they will be violating Chinese government's policies if they follow uh, the pillars of Islam, which is their faith. So they are in between. So it is very, very difficult for Uyghur people, now especially because of the strike hard campaigns, to be a Uyghur and to be a Muslim in China. What sort of punishments are we looking at? First of all, if Uyghurs, especially those who work uh, in government uh, control, uh, operated schools or hospitals, usually they are fined uh, for one-time offenses. If they keep on uh, fasting, then they will be suspended or fired from their jobs, their positions. Uh, no more any kind of salaries or retirement payment. And uh, if the Uyghur continue to fast and even brush aside Chinese government policies and uh, complain about Chinese government 
such repressive religious policies, the Uyghurs will be arrested. If the Uyghurs get somehow violent to some degree, then the Uyghurs can be arrested as a terrorist separatist or religious extremist. What about so, uh, sorry. Yes. Uh, uh, what about these night patrols? Night patrols? Yes, uh, since uh, Chinese President Xi Jinping announced the one-year strike hard campaign last month, Chinese security forces are now uh, initiating security sweeps and night patrols uh, in predominantly Uyghur areas of uh, East Turkestan, like in Kashgar, in Hotan, and other places. And uh, Chinese uh, armed soldiers, they patrol the Uyghur neighborhoods at night uh, just to make sure that Uyghurs are not fasting. If they see any house has lights on, uh, especially during the time to eat at night, then they will break into the house of the Uyghur people just to uh, find them fast, uh, fasting. Then uh, if the Uyghur family or the husbands in protection of their honor of their wives get violent, the Chinese soldiers are ordered to shoot and kill them just to label them as terrorists. Okay, it's, thanks, uh, thanks yeah. very much for joining us, uh, Mr. Seitov, Alim Seitov from the World Uyghur Conference there. And we have been in touch with the Chinese embassy here in London, but they haven't responded to our request for an interview on this story.